All right, team. All right, team. Welcome back to another BFIT Live, another Monday motivation to get your week started nice and strong. This week, we're going to continue leading up to our Veterans Day with our Sweat for a Vet workout here. Um, once again, we have a little bit of work tacked on before and after our normal programmed workout uh, to, to round out our Sweat for a Vet workout today. So if you're new to the channel, if you're just joining us, uh, welcome, settle in, uh, grab any type of resistance that you may have. It is not needed, but uh, we can always scale back uh, for those who may not have dumbbells or any resistance, but if you have anything that you can add to scale up, to challenge yourself, uh, pick a weight that's comfortable for you to lift. Uh, if you want to get creative and grab a gallon of water or something of that nature, Again, uh, go ahead and grab that right now, and uh, let's get settled in. Grab your water, grab your towel, and uh, welcome to BeFit Live. Uh, we have uh, four exercises today that we usually go through. Uh, every week is different, so our programmed workout for today is a full total body workout, uh, head to toe, uh, to test our overall strength. And um, again, before then, we will cash in with a few exercises and cash out with those same ones. So. Our program will be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, and one minute of rest in between each of our four rounds, okay? Um, myself, and I'd like to welcome my guest, Senior Master Sergeant Barry. How are you, ma'am? Hi, good morning, how are you? I'm doing good. And how are you getting for events again? So I'm excited. Yes, ma'am, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sweat for a Vet, today. And uh, again, Sergeant Barry and I will go through each of these exercises with you. We are all in this together to sweat for a vet today. So our first exercise on deck is going to be an alternating reverse fly. So go ahead and pick out uh, a weight, again, that's comfortable for you. If you do not have any weights, go ahead and make a, a strong fist here. And we are going to hinge at the hips. Chest is right above our feet here. Nice proud chest. And we are gonna be looking straight ahead and we want to retract our shoulder blades back, keeping a nice soft bend almost straight at our arms and retract those shoulder blades back here, alternating one and two, left and right. That's gonna be exercise number one. And don't worry, I will remind these to you as we go. Exercise number two is gonna be a standing or kneeling shoulder press. So we are going to, I'll, I'll kneel for this demonstration here we're just going to alternate left and right to tackle those shoulders for some nice, strong here. All right, we wanna get these shoulders nice and loose, nice and popping. Exercise number three is gonna be a staggered squat, uh, alternating staggered squat here. So again, our lead foot is forward. Our rear foot is just about six inches from our forward, uh, our forward foot here. And we would just want to squat down. Hips are gonna drop here. Our chest is gonna be over our knee and our knee is gonna be tracking over our toe here. Nice solid squat and power up using that quad here. Alternate, again, six feet uh, distance from that lead foot to rear foot, squat down, 40 seconds of work here, okay? And then our final fourth exercise, let me scale this down here are gonna be plank dips. So we're gonna assume a low plank position here. And usually I want your hips to be nice and square, but today I want you to comfortably dip them to your left up and then down to your right here. Those are gonna be plank dips to round out our four exercises for our regular scheduled program. But before we get into all of that, we are gonna cash in and cash out with three exercises leading up to Veterans Day, okay? So Veterans Day this Wednesday, 11, 11, 20 is the date. So we are cashing in with 11 reps of jumping jacks, 11 reps of your burpee here. You can go ahead and stop at the high plank position, bounce back up, that's 11, and then 20, 20 air squats, okay? 20 air squats, nice and comfortable, nice and slow and controlled. Again, those knees are gonna be tracking over your toes and your view should be nice 
and comfortable a few feet ahead of you with that nice proud chest up top here. So that is the full workout for today. Let's go ahead and again, let's grab some water, grab a towel, and let's get ready to warm our bodies up, warm our minds up with some dynamic stretching here. All right. Again, if you're just joining us, we're about to start our sweat for a vet workout. <clears throat> but before that, we wanna warm up with some dynamic stretching here. Again, it's always important to warm up your body, get your mind focused, your mind right and ready to work here. So dynamic stretching on deck. We are gonna go ahead and reach back for that rear right leg. Left hand is gonna go nice and tall, nice and straight above your head. You should feel the stretch in your quad, in your hips. Go ahead and alternate to your left to right, right arm up, left leg back. And go ahead and go at your own pace for about 30 seconds here. We're gonna complete each of these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds at your own pace. Pushing those hips forward. Each time you reach up with that lead arm, go ahead and stretch out a little bit taller than your last. Pushing those hips forward. You can feel that stretch in your hip flexors, your psoas area here. Releasing it up if we've been sitting for a little bit longer than we're used to here. All right, let's go into some reverse lunge reaches here. We're gonna go back up to the top of our mat here. I'm gonna take my right leg extended all the way back, lean into a reverse lunge position. Hands are coming together here. Reverse out and reach over to that lead foot. Back up top. Again, 30 seconds of work here, nice and controlled. Nothing too aggressive. Let's go at your own pace. Go ahead and feel out your body. Scan that body. And let's see if there are any areas that you're tight in. Go ahead and try and work those areas out. And I'm always a little bit tighter in my hips. So I'd like to really warm those up. Open those up. You should feel the stretch when you reach over in your lats which is gonna be the outside of your back. Nice, a few more here, just because this feels really good. <laughs> and we'll go on to some more work on our hips here. So we're gonna go into some lateral lunges here. Our feet are gonna be fixed and pointed straight ahead here. And we are going to shift our weight, pushing through the heels of your feet, just lunge and shift your weight left to right here. Again, we're not going into a lateral lunge so we can nice and comfortable here. You should feel the stretch in your inside of your legs. You should feel your lower body warming up here. Glute activation. Think about keeping that core engaged throughout this full workout. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go into some bodyweight squats now. Again, we have some lower legs, leg work to do. So we are gonna just knock out a few reps of these air squats. Again, to get our hips nice and loose, to get some blood flow to our lower body. Nice. There we go. About 10 more seconds here. Go at your own pace, nice and controlled. Three, two, okay, let's target our shoulders and our back here with the work that we're about to do. So let's go into some YTWs here. If you're new to the channel here, again, we're gonna make a big Y with our arms nice and straight, nice and long, back to center, a big T, squeeze those shoulder blades together, back to center, and a big W here and back to center. We'll do about four rounds of these three sets here. T, again, you should start trying to extend your arms out as far as you can with that Y and T. That W, you wanna squeeze those shoulder blades together. You should feel some blood flow in your shoulders. Nice mobility work, nice controlled. That W, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Big Y once again. Last one here. 
T. Good, good, good. Nice and controlled. And a big W to show off those biceps. Good. All right, all right. Here we go. Let me grab some water here. Grab a towel. We are going to cash in once again. We're cashing in today with 11 burpees, 11 jumping jacks, which are first, and a 20 air squats. So 11 jacks, 11 burpees, and 20 air squats. We are going to go at our own pace here. Okay, let's go ahead and knock out these 11, 11, 20. And then we will go into our programmed workout. Again, if you're just joining us, Sweat for a Vet, our special workout edition leading up to Veterans Day. So we're putting in some extra work, which is the least that we can do for Veterans Day coming up. All right. All right, let's get it. We're going 11 jumping jacks, 11 burpees, and 20 air squats. All right, let's get started, team. 11 jumping jacks. Six seven, eight, 10, 11. All right, let's go directly into those burpees here. We've got 11 on deck. So go ahead and go at your own pace here. Stand up nice and tall. You can go ahead and stop at that high plank position. Three, four, nice and controlled, nice and smooth. Five, six, Seven, I think Sergeant Barry's beating me. <laughs> I see her. And I might be off one, so I'll throw in an extra one there. And then we are in 20 air squats here. Again, feet are shoulder width apart here. Just drop that back in down into that imaginary, imaginary chair. Your knees are gonna be tracking just over your toes. Nice proud chest here. Make sure that spine is nice and long. And let's go at our own pace. My legs are already burning <laughs> and we are just cashing in. All right. There we go. Nice. I'm gonna say I'm close to 20. <laughs> well, let's not cheat ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm going off of your cue, Sergeant Barry. So that's it. All right, we cashed in with 20 jacks, 20, I mean, 11 jacks, 11 burpees and 20 air squats. Let's go ahead and towel off, grab that water to stay hydrated. I'm gonna set my timer and we'll, we, we will go directly into our workout here. <clears throat> and if you're just joining us, let us know where you're watching from. It's always nice to see so many people from around the world supporting each other, lifting each other up, giving each other words of encouragement, and um, just showing where you're watching from, you know. It could be in, inside, like Sergeant Barry, it could be outdoors like myself, but we are one team here, one team, one fight, one goal, one mission to stay fit. All right, <clears throat> trusty timer here. I won't add on any additional time. <laughs> Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds at four exercises with one minute rest in between each round. Alternating reverse fly is on in nine here. So we are, we are here, keep those. We start out with some plates here to warm things up. And here we go. We are gonna hinge at the hips. We want that chest to be just over our toes. We want our head in a nice neutral position here. And we are dropping the weight nice and firm, nice below. And squeezing those shoulder blades together. 20 more seconds of work here at your pace. If you do not have any resistance available to you, go ahead and make a nice strong fist and accentuate the top of the movement to bring your shoulder blades together for five more seconds. Three, two, one, and 20 seconds of rest. And we will go directly into our shoulder work here. So again, if you do not have any weight here, go ahead and make a nice strong fist. Now go ahead and grab these same plates here. 
We are at kneeling shoulder presses in two, one. Let's go here. Go ahead and alternate left to right. You want to squeeze your glute. Keep that chest nice and proud and bring that weight just at shoulder width. Your elbow should be just at shoulder width height and extend all the way up, nice and tall, nice and proud above your head here. 13 more seconds left. Nice. Sergeant Barry looking good. Be Fit Nation looking good for three more seconds. Two, one. And time, 20 seconds of rest here. And we will go do, we will go right into some staggered squats here. Alternate staggered squats in 10. Again, your rear leg is gonna be about six inches behind. So you want a lot of that load to be up on that front foot here, 90% at least. And let's work here. We're dropping down, our hips are sinking to the floor here and we're exploding back up and alternate here. So with this, staggered stance, it allows for more of our weight to be shifted onto that front foot. We go ahead and load it, load up that, load up that quad here, extend all the way to the top here. Nice, good work. Go at your own pace here. And if this may be a little too difficult, go ahead and stay in that lunge position for two, one, and time. Good work, 18 seconds of rest here. And we are already in to the last set. Let's get this down of our first round here. First round, we learn it. Second round, we own it. Plank dips are coming up in four, three, two. All right, 40 seconds of work here. Let's go at your own pace. A couple of coaching cues here. You wanna keep that navel drawn back. You wanna keep those glutes nice and tight. All right, engage those glutes. That back should be nice and flat, spine neutral. You should be gazing at your fingertips if they are out. All right, and rotate at the hips. 14 more seconds here. Your feet are just under shoulder width apart. Five more seconds here, three, two, one, nice, good work here, good work. You have completed one round out of our four rounds here. Awesome work team, awesome work. And with that, again, we have we just finished plank dips. And just a reminder here, you have three more days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to submit your plank challenge photos. Again, sweat for a vet. Uh, is the workout, but test your strength. If you head on over to our Exchange Facebook page, under the events tab, look for, look for test your strength plank challenge and go ahead and submit a photo of yourself or a video of yourself <clears throat> holding a plank for a chance to win an exchange gift card. Submit those photos. If you are in a plank today, right now, take that photo and submit it. Alternating reverse flies are on deck in five. Second round here, we are starting three, two, one. Here we go. Again, this is a back focused workout, but you should still engage your core. Keep that core nice and tight to protect that lower back. Keep a nice strong stance here, just under shoulder width apart. And let's keep that head neutral, not up. Not down, but neutral. You wanna go ahead and make a straight line with your spine here, your tailbone all the way up to your head. Six more seconds of work here. Keep pushing, squeeze those shoulder blades together for three, two, one. All right, awesome work. You've earned that rest. You've earned that rest. Again, second round. Now that we load the exercises, let's go ahead and bump up, scale up if you can. Push yourself to your comfort. Shoulder presses. Here we go here. 40 seconds of work. You like nice strong shoulders. 
Again, let's take this move nice and slow, nice and controlled. Don't go too heavy, but to your comfort level, 20 seconds of work here, we're halfway through. I know shoulders can be, <laughs> can be painful if you receive an injury. So let's go ahead and work through that by not going as heavy if you don't need to. Two more seconds here, one and rest. 20 seconds of rest here. And we will go into that alternating staggered stance squat. The Fit Nation, y'all are looking good. I know every week y'all show up, you give me a lot of effort here. Let's get that lead foot forward, six inches back here on that rear. And we're squatting here. Again, 90% of your weight should be in that forward leg here. Load up that front leg. Your staggered stance shouldn't be too far, about six inches. And ideally, we're just focusing on that quad work here. Nice. Load up that quad and power and extend through your glutes and your quad. 15 more seconds of work here. Try and stay forward and you can feel a lot of your weight up on that forward loaded foot here. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, one, and time. Good work, good work. All right. Plank dips are up next. Go ahead and lower this. Five more seconds here. I hear some action going on. Is that y'all? Two, one. All right, let's work here. Again, a lot of our plank variations, we try and keep those hips nice and square. For today though, we're gonna hold that low plank position and drop that hip to the left and then to the right. Small rotations on your feet can help you get to that dip. Keep that back nice and flat, nice and long. Keep your glutes down. Seven more seconds, keep pushing, keep holding. I know it burns. Three, two, one. Nice. Nice work, nice work. Peel yourself off the floor because we have two more rounds to go. <laughs> I know, grab some water, towel off. We've earned this rest. What I like most about these <clears throat> timed workouts is we're not chasing a rep, we're chasing the clock. And again, just under 30 seconds of work here. And we accomplish a full body workout that keeps us nice and tight, nice and toned, strengthens some muscle groups that we use on a daily basis. Every day is a workout for us, even though we may not be actively working out, but we are using our full body to accomplish things throughout the day. So this is the time to focus on yourself. Eight more seconds here, and we will go into those alternating reverse flies in four, three, two, load it up here, hinge at the hips, soft bend at the knees, and we are gonna go with alternating reverse fly. Nice work. I see you, Sergeant Barry. Looking good. Looking good. All right. Again, we want to focus on squeezing those shoulder blades together. More importantly, we want to keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Protect that lower back. You should be at a 45 degree angle with your back here. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Last rep. And time. All right. Go ahead and keep those weights if you have them. And we'll go directly into our shoulder press. Again, you can stand or you can kneel. I will choose to kneel for camera's sake for three, two, one. Here we go. Alternating shoulder press. I will say though, on most exercises that you can, what's nice about kneeling is that you take your lower body away from the equation and it forces you not to sway. You're not moving your lower body so much to, to gain power through. So it forces you to focus on the muscle group that you were trying to target here. 12 more seconds, nice and smooth, nice and controlled. 
seven, five more seconds, keep pushing, three, two, pun intended, and time, good work. <laughs> All right, we had a pull, we had a push, now let's go down to our lower body in 10 for those alternating staggered squats. All right, here we go team, in three, two, one, load up that front leg, drop those hips, keep that head and chest in a nice neutral position. When I say neutral, I mean your neck to your tailbone should be nice and relatively straight here. I don't want you to look up. I don't want you to look down. Keep that neck nice and neutral, nice and comfortable. Load up that leg and extend up. 12 more seconds here. Where are you watching from? Where are you pushing at? Let me know. Four more seconds. Two, one. Awesome. Good job, good job. And that leaves us with plank dips. Up next, team, we are already in round three. Round three, you are almost done. <laughs> All right, I know. I know, here we go. In two, one. Plank dips, here we go. <laughs> nice dropping of the hips left to right here. But your torso, your chest should stay relatively straight, relatively square. All right. Try and gaze at your fingertips. Try not to gaze down or back at your toes. Nice strong movements here. 13 more seconds left on the clock. Keep that core nice and tight. If you need to drop to a plank at your knees, let's go ahead and do that. Scale it down for three, two, one. Way to go, way to go, team, way to go. Round three is complete. Good work. Looking good, Sergeant Barry. I see the effort, I see the effort. Nice and strong. Don't forget to hydrate here even though some of us may be in cooler temperatures, keep reminding yourself to hydrate, to keep that body cool, and be mindful not to overexert yourself. <clears throat> Y'all are looking good. 16 more seconds of rest here, and we are back into that reverse fly. Again, targeting our full body here, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Let's go ahead and grab that weight. We're on in three, two, one. Hinging at the hips, weights down straight above us, straight underneath us. And we are lifting here out to the side with that reverse fly. Again, if you do not have any weight with you, go ahead and make a nice strong fist and concentrate on bringing that shoulder blade to meet the other. 18 more seconds here. Keep that head neutral. Engage that core. Focus on your breathing here. When you contract, when you bring that weight up, you should be breathing out. Two more seconds. One. And time. Good job. Good job. Staying with that weight. If you choose. Last round, best round. There it is. You choose to scale up to make it a little bit more challenging for yourself. Let's go ahead and do it. Five more seconds of rest here. And we're going into alternating presses for two, one. All right, let's go. We're working here. All right, 30 more seconds. Keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Keep those glutes tight here. Protect that lower back. Rack this weight and press it overhead here for 15 seconds. Again, your shoulders should be on fire. I know mine are. We are working today. Five more seconds here. Again, starting our Monday off nice and strong for two, one, and rest here. All right, we're halfway through. Halfway through our last round for best round. 
in more seconds here and we will go into our alternating staggered squats here. Assume that staggered position here, lead foot's up forward. Your, most of your weight is shifted up front, drop down into that squat position and we're working. Again, that rear foot is about six inches behind you. Nice compact movement. But if you don't have any dumbbells or any resistance, this is a great option for you to really load up that quad with your body weight shifted up front here. 15 more seconds of work. Nice and controlled, nice and smooth here. If you need something to hold on to, grab that chair, assist you, three more seconds, two, one. There we go, good work, good work, good work. 20 seconds of rest here. You're looking good, you're looking good, Fit Nation. All right, let me make some room. Eight more seconds here. And we are dropping into our last and final set with plank dips. Here we go. 40 seconds of work here. Again, hold this position. Rotate at the hips just slightly so you can dip. Your gaze should be at your fingertips. Snap that photo or snap that video if you can. Submit it to our exchange event page. Test your strength plank challenge for a chance to win an exchange gift card here. 12 more seconds, keep pushing. Let's raise the tempo here if you can for the last seven. Nice and controlled, keep that core tight. Three, two, one, time. Awesome work, awesome work. Way right. to go team, way to go team. Grab some water real quick. Grab some water and we got to cash out here. Mm. I know. Y'all thought I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. All right. Since we're nice and warm, our bodies are nice and warm, our heart rate is nice and elevated. Let's go ahead and cash out again 11 jacks, 11 burpees, and 20 air squats to close us out here. All right. 20, 11 jacks, 11 burpees, 20 air squats. Let's go team, 11 jacks, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine, 10, 11. All right, directly into those burpees here. All right, faster we do them, the faster we can enjoy the rest of our Sunday here. Again, if you wanna scale up, let's go ahead and Drop to the floor here. Nice. <clears throat> Keep pushing. Drive through those legs, extend all the way up. Nice and smooth, nice and controlled. Let's go at your own pace. I'm gonna do one more <laughs> for good measure here. All right. All right, air squats, air squats, 20 of them coming up. Again, let's finish out strong. The knees are tracking over your toes. Glutes sitting back. Back is nice and long, nice and flat. There we go. Nice. There we go. Last few reps left. Cashing out here, making our daily deposits. I might be an overachiever on this one. <laughs> the, bur the burning sensation led me to believe that was 20 air squats. <laughs> All right, team. <laughs> How are we feeling? How are we doing? <laughs> Would you like this workout? <laughs> be fit, Nation. Let me know. I got your heart rate up. <laughs> I know Sergeant Barry and I like to track our heart rates and mine might be a little off because it's saying 96, but a fitness tracker, check out your local exchange. It's nice to get those metrics during your workouts, during your runs, during your swims. I know we have them online and in store. So it's a great tool, great tool to measure metrics. 
your distance, your calories burned. You can pair them up with different apps and track your, uh, your calories burned with the intake of food. So very nice features on a lot of these fitness trackers. So once again, this was our sweat for a vet workout where we cashed in with our uh, date related reps, repetitions here. So 11, 11, 20 with Veterans Day coming up. Uh, we can't thank you all enough for your service. And um, I, I, our programmed workout, we went directly into that 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off, 20 seconds of rest with four exercises and four rounds. Uh, BFIT Nation, this is, uh, this is where we are uh, throughout the year here. We're here every Monday. Um, again, I've seen so much progress and, and so many comments. That it's, it's, it's just so nice to see uh, the team coming together to supporting one another. Um, Sergeant Barry, uh, any, any words uh, on, on our Sweat for a Vet workout? Uh, yes, Roy, uh, thanks for, for letting me talk on it. Uh, what an honor to be able to be a part of this uh, Sweat for a Vet. Um, I can't ever describe how truly grateful I am um, for the path that the veterans laid out for me. Uh, so again, it's been an honor um, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of it. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. I know uh, you were inspiration for myself as well as for many of our viewers that I've watched throughout the weeks that have uh, accomplished these workouts. You know, we're, we're here uh, to lift each other up and do them together and support one another in one mission, one fight. <laughs> Again, uh, BFIT Nation, uh, thank you for tuning in to your Monday motivation. Uh, continue to go through the week nice and strong just as you've given me all of your effort Go ahead and continue to push through the week. And uh, we will see you next Monday. All right. Exchange BFIT out.